Alright, just a couple more races left in the Men's Division 4 show of the show. That's right, the first event will feature the Steel Curtain Aaron Miller, Michael Garcia, Ramon Chante of the Luck in the Irish, and Frank Funantaro. By the way, Aaron Miller is one half of the defending tag team champions along with the defending world champion, Walter Moore Gregson. Let's see what happens here. Please start the race! Okay, there goes the next group of the participants, bursting down the line. And it looks like Michael Garcia is going to rest. That means he's going to be left behind in the competition on the way in the back. The other three chow are pushing in the palm trees. And now they're going to eat the food. And here comes the pack, busting down the line. And Frank put on top is going to rest. That means Ramon and Sean, they will have full control on the lead up in the front. As the first superstar against beat first is the Steel Curtain, Aaron Miller, who dominates on the rest of the pack. Right now it is number two, who is getting left behind on the competition all the way in the back. Number two is way behind. I think he's going to be heading towards the water. He's trying to gain some ground over the competition, trying to get back in this one. As he takes Beavis number two of this race, and now he's still in the game, and one of the jumps the rest, so he's really still in the game for sure. Back up in front, Ramon Chante has a huge lead heading up to the wall. As the next few we may buy, Frank Fernando, and look at that. And I'm going to the rest, so Frank Fernando will move up to fourth place on the competition. Right now, number one is way behind the competition as we pass the one minute mark. A couple of which are also getting left behind as we head back into Frank Fernando. And now he is in third place ahead of number two. Meanwhile, Ramon Short Day continues to dominate over Mike Garcia, who sits in second place. In fact, will Ramon Short Day hold off when he's been three? We'll find out soon. Back to Frank Fernando. And now he is passing Mike Garcia for second place. That free speamers went in from 6th place to 2nd place at the Kellum Wood. Will we make the pass on Ramon and Shanti as well? We'll find out soon enough. Next pass will be made by number 8, who dominates over the rest of the pack. He dominates over the 4th hit job and the steel cousin Aaron Miller. And by now, number 1 is on battle rate for 2, I'm all the way back. As our leader, Ramon Shanti takes the next command to us. He's trying to put this race a little bit early. Frank Fernando can still survive if he flies enough distance to make the pass for Man Watch Short Day. Will he? We'll find out soon enough. And who will get the next command of Speedbus? It is Michael Garcia who will have the next command of Speedbus. And number one is getting all alone in last place. I think Frank Fernando has made the pass for Man Watch Short Day. I don't know. As the two cuts in the air takes hit his second speed match, it looks like Frank Fernando is going to hold on Van Wojciechowski to win this one. Van Wojciechowski had the lead for about the entire race, but Frank Fernando with those three consecutive speed runs helped him make a statement in the very end. So Frank Fernando gets his 10th win of the season. That's right, his 10th win of his 2016 season. Well done. As number one, it's better to close out the speed runs for the race. Try to stay alive. Alright, so after Van Ron Shaw they donate for about the entire race, it is Frank Fernando who came through in the bell yeah. Now that's why that was exciting. If you think that was exciting, wait until a main event happens. And it will happen right after here. What from this?